API documentation as part of your build process, you can integrate JS Doc 3 support into your project with uh, the plugin. We must configure this in the JS Doc task. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that in the build file. And the closure is going to be real easy as we set up a task called JS Doc. And we've got a type of a JS doc task. We're going to set the source of where we have our files, and then we're going to set a destination directory. If you want to use any of the specified uh, specific JS doc parameters, you can put them in the options.options .options parameter map. Now, uh, those can be found in the web page for the uh, the plugin, which I have right here, and you can see the uh, the different options that that are listed here. And the URL to get here is just an anchor tag off of uh, the the Gradle JS plugin URL that we shared previously. So going back, let's go ahead and run this and see what we've got. First of all, I do want to point out that in my JavaScript directory. I've got my utility. I've got some some markup in here uh, for the uh, the JS doc, and we've got a very very uh, simple thing. The our purpose is to talk about Gradle's usage of JS doc specifically. So I, we only pulled in this one example. Now I'm going to run uh, the JS doc task. At which point it will look through all the source files and run the JS doc task against it. Now, if I look in my build directory, JS docs directory, I can see that we've generated an HTML. We've got some styles out there. Let's go and take a look at what was generated to, to make sure that we actually have some output. And here we go. There is the generated global.html file that it will have all of the JS doc three uh, documentation here generated from the annotations in our source code.